Hello, welcome to another running video. Slightly different this time around. You might notice these. All will be explained very shortly. But first of all, we need a proper intro for this video. Jar Ox and Spoon, this is for you. Hey, -o, viewers. So, we are doing that's right we are doing a race today huh? will there be any running whatsoever in this video no that's right we have been inspired by an absolute legendary group called the slackers and i'll explain more on this video for people who obviously don't know about the channel we'll tell you who it involves what they talk about and I'll tell you why I like their channel so much. We are taking part in a very special race though, called the Classy Sachet. That's right. Distance, a gruelling 1.93 miles. Why? We'll explain later. Why all of this? More to come. First of all, we're just gonna go and enjoy a bit of a walk and get some proper fuel for the end of this gruelling race. See you in a bit. Hello. So in true slacker style fueling, can't get fresher than these donuts and they smell delicious. As soon as we get off this horrible busy road, it's time for a bit of mid-race fueling. Yeah. I'm going to go and get the most tasty drink. <laughs> Wait, have you? Basically, it's hot milk. But what's it called? Baby Chino. Baby Chino. I don't even think I'm just small because of the name. Kimberly, this is a nod to you. You, Mama, Mr. James. I know you all like to finish with a nice hot drink afterwards. We don't have a Starbucks around our way, but we do have a Costa. So that's where we're going to finish with our donuts. Got it? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that was milky, is that it? Um, did you want to just try that temperature? Do you want to try it, mate? Do you want to try it? Not too hot, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Big thumbs up. So we are halfway through our 1.93 gruelling mile race. Mm. Uh, so we've stopped for some slacker fueling. Yeah. What have you got? I've got the same as you. Yeah, so we've both got our baby chinos. Cheers. Yeah, and it's time to dig into those uh, donuts. Got to be some proper fueling. This is why I love you guys. I watch a lot of running videos. You guys best definitely have the best diet. That's a cute bird. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Trouble is, it's a bag of five. 
And you don't like donuts, do you? No, I don't like donuts. I know. Don't take that um, hard. I'm sure I'll get through these. So, I know you slackers love your Disney. So do we, don't we? Yeah. Hence, the Disney tops. And show me shirt. And if I can undo my shirt as well. Oh, it's just probably a no. Which I can't. Here we go. My favorite ride. Haunted Mansion. So, why don't we talk about your favourite ride as well? Slinky Dog Dash. Slinky Dog at Hollywood Studios. Why do you like Slinky Dog? Mainly because I just love the character, let alone the ride. You watch the ride, man. You enjoy it. <laughs> It's a great ride, we love that. How many times did we go on that on our last holiday? Um, I think that was over eight, and one of the hours was over two hours a queue. Of course, uh, you guys go there regularly, you'll know all about those long queues. But, um, but yeah, we went on it loads of times, didn't we? We were big fun. What's your favourite ride at Magic Kingdom? It's either the um, Speedway or Dumbo. I like Dumbo. You like Dumbo? Especially yeah. Especially the player. Yeah. You just get to, you just pull something down and it makes firework noises. I like that. Yeah, uh, Speedway, you absolutely love, don't you? Because you like driving the car. Yeah. And uh, more importantly, crashing the car on the rails. Hey, it's just way bottom it does that. You steer it. If I didn't have any hands, it would still go buff, buff, buff. I think we do need just to take this quick moment, though, to mention a very important fact about one of the rides at Magic Kingdom. So there is Buzz Lightyear's Alien Ranger Spin, Buzz Lightyear's yep. Space Ranger Spin. Yep. Who is undefeated on that ride? You. I'm lucky enough that I've been going Disney... Uh, about every two years. Yeah, about every two years or so, haven't we? For, we well, were I've, supposed to go this year. Why, why couldn't we go? Because of Corona. Hopefully next year. Yeah, we're hoping to go back next year. So you've been, what, twice now, haven't you? I've been Disney probably about 11 or 12 times. And that's when you met Mum. And, uh, yes, my, uh, my wife. And uh, I am undefeated. Undefeated on Except Buzz Lightyear like... Space Ranger Spin. So, slackers, if, and I hope it's a when, I make race day for um, the Goofy Challenge. Sorry, the Dopey Challenge. If one of you wants to challenge me, I'm well up for that. Loser buys the donuts. What do you think? Yeah, I think they would lose, so they can get the donuts. You've heard it here first, King. We're coming for you. I'm the judge. So you've just told me of another ride you like at Magic Kingdom. Go on, tell everyone. Goofy's Bounce Tower, and especially at the front. I well, like the why propellers. Why at the front? You like the propeller yes. watching it go around. Goofy's Barnstormer was your first ever roller coaster you went on, wasn't it? Oh yeah. 
accelerator. If you haven't heard, I think you slackers wouldn't hear, you would have heard of that. It's from another theme park that I go to. And I love it. We have a theme park over in the UK called Drayton Manor and his favourite, favourite ride of all is Accelerator, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really epic roller coaster. And probably second in that, in Drayton Manor, my second favourite roller coaster would have to be um, the Buffalo Coaster and Troublesome Trucks. Probably Troublesome Trucks and the So to give you guys some idea, Accelerator is like a very, very watered down Aerosmith and the Troublesome Trucks, um, I would say, is very, very similar to Goofy's Barnstormer. So you might notice I'm back on my own now. Uh, unfortunately, my son uh, slipped over and uh, he cut his knee up. So we've taken him home. Um, but thankfully we had the slacker donuts fuel so I've left him with a couple of donuts I've left him with his big lollipop as well and strangely enough I think he's gonna survive he's just sat down to start watching Monsters Inc so that's a good sign that is a good sign welcome to the storybook capital of the East Midlands in England we are in a small town called Lutworth you can Google Mappers we are about this big on the map. So, you might have noticed I am not wearing my usual running gear. Just in case you hadn't. So, to explain why I'm in this get-up, let's just do a quick recap of uh, my running so far. So, about three years ago, took up the running. A couple of years ago I started looking at races that I wanted to actually go for. Now there's big ones over here in the UK obviously, the uh, London Marathon, the Oxford Half Marathon, the Great North Run. Yeah, they're, they're all fantastic, yeah I'd like to do some of those. Hopefully the Oxford Half Marathon later this year, 2021. When I started googling though, the one thing that I did find was Run Disney. Now, I absolutely love Disney World. Uh, I've got so many happy memories from there. Whenever we go on holiday there, the two weeks always goes far too quickly. Um, you've seen what my lad has to say as well, some of his favorite rides. And I couldn't believe when I came across something called the Dopey Challenge. The Dopey Challenge, for those of you that don't know, slackers, I know you do, four races over four days, 5K, 10K, half marathon, full marathon. Now, I have been saving up. I have been trying to work to a training program. And the idea was I was gonna run the Dopey Marathon 2021. And then Corona hit. Now, whilst I was researching Run Disney and the uh, Disney Marathon, I came across quite a few YouTube channels. Now there's plenty out there, there's lots that will give you um, very different uh, ways of looking at the race. Some more serious than others, some just having a lot of fun, most having a lot of fun. But whilst I was researching I came across three channels uh, that I'm going to give a quick shout out to now. First of all, Heather Jorgensen, Runners Without Limits. Um, Love your channel. Already subscribed to all three of these, by the way. Uh, Heather has done many races, many uh, Disney races, and a qualified instructor as well. So she's got some great advice. And uh, she's always happy to share that as well on her channel. If you haven't already done so, give her a search. I would love to say, link above. I don't know how to do that. Um, I'm afraid I'm just not that technically gifted. So as I walk around with a GoPro stick wearing Mickey ears, this is about as technical as I get. Um, yeah, Heather, absolutely love you. My two favorite channels though, and all three of these, by the way, I can never miss an episode of whatever they put up on YouTube. But my absolute two favorites, first of all, a special shout out to Kimberly who is also Bell898, I believe. 
on YouTube. Again, give her a search. These ears, Kimberly, are for you. Uh, I know on all your races that you do, um, you always have some kind of a Disney attire on. So I've come out especially wearing these ears, there they are, uh, in respect to you. I want you to know that you and your mum that go out running and Mr. James, you give us uh, a lot of inspiration to carry on sometimes. I know you've uh, gone through a lot. So to see you guys go out and smash it, absolutely brilliant. Well done you. And uh, I love the way that you just have so much fun when you're out and about. And finally, of course, the ultimate channel, the one I can't miss any episode for. And whenever a new one comes up on my subscriptions, I'm watching straight away. Jar Ox and Spoon, the slackers, the king of all slackers. You have made me want to do Run Disney so much. You have made the videos so fun to watch. Not just the running videos, just even walking around Disney. Uh, all of the slackers, um, so Jar, J Crow, uh, Linz Reed, uh, Jezri D, M to the Kelsey, L Crow. Oh, I'm sure I'm forgetting others as well. So I'm very sorry if I am. I absolutely love watching you guys. I love watching your symposiums and your thoughts on Disney as well. Obviously, like I say, big Disney fan. I'm going to try and set a few of those scores straight though in this video. But I want you to know you do a great channel. Thank you very much, guys. This idea, the classy sachet, this should have been Princess Weekend Race. Obviously, all races are cancelled at Disney. Now the Princess Weekend is 19.3 miles, but we're slackers. We don't do the full. We move that decimal point, we shift it one to the left to make it 1.93 miles. That's a race I can get on board with, King. Thank you. And I hope this video shows you just how inspirational you are coming out here talking to a camera wearing as much disney gear as i can possibly find don't forget haunted mansion as well underneath and one thing i haven't mentioned yet i hope you got that my monorail socks so that's why I am out here in the streets of Lutterworth with the light fading, with lots of people staring at me wearing my ears. But that's why I'm here to complete the Classy Sachet 1.93 gruelling miles. Let's get this done. So just a very quick shout out to Linz Reed in particular. Thank you very much, Linz. I was watching your last Slackers Symposium and uh, you were talking a bit more about the uh, Classy Sachet. And the whole reason I've decided to come out and make this video is because, Linz, you actually asked, is there a distance limit to where Jar would send swag? And in particular, you mentioned England. Now, I don't know, there might be other international people that watch this channel. I like to comment on your um, videos. And I have said that I would love to take part virtually. And as soon as I heard that question asked, I felt like it could have been done personally. It probably wasn't, but uh, it certainly gave me the encouragement, uh, especially when uh, King came out and said, yes, we will ship. I have come out here, I have covered the 1.93 miles, I have worn my ears, which I have now put away because it started raining not long back, and the wife will kill me if they get wet. So I want to say a big special thank you to Linz Reed for asking that particular question and giving England as an example and making me come out here and do the 1.93 miles. Thanks Linz.
So I said I'd use this opportunity to uh, set a few of my opinions on record to uh, hopefully give you slackers an insight to what I like anyway. Um, I know you guys like to visit your restaurants. First things first, you say there is no good quick service in Magic Kingdom. How dare you, sir? How dare you? We absolutely love Pinocchio's house. I love the flatbread pizza. I'm not ashamed to tell you that. Could there be more topping? Of course there could be more topping. There's no such thing as too much topping, in my opinion, for pizza. However, we absolutely still love that. It's a great opportunity throughout the park during the day just to go and uh, grab a, a small meal, quick service. And uh, yeah, it's not going to win any awards, I'll be honest with you there. But we still love it. And we'll go there again next time. Uh, I know you like to mention Haleos. Uh, sorry. Haleos. Never been there. I don't even know where it is. I don't even know what they serve. I'm, I'm, I am going to go and Google this. Um, I should have Googled it before the video, really. I'm going to go and Google it. I'm going to find out what they serve. And maybe it's one of those that uh, I can partake in, hopefully, 2022 run Disney marathon weekend. Should there be one. Should we be allowed to leave this country? Um, I want to go on record for saying my favourite sit down place now I haven't heard you mention this in your videos I'm sure you would have been there I'm sure once I work my way through your back catalogue of videos there'll be a mention of it I haven't heard it for now but I'm going to tell you my favourite place and that is the Rainforest Cafe and before you ask which one I've been to both at Disney Springs and at uh, Animal Kingdom and I love them both and I can even tell you now, sir, what I would order. And I'm going to insert some photos. The Beastly Burger. And of course, Volcano. That, that right there, is a challenge. But a challenge I'm willing to take on. Absolutely love it. Um, and I, I can't wait to get back there and have some of that again. Uh, I'd love to know what you think of the Rainforest Cafe. Probably not up there on your list. I know you like... Uh, one or two other restaurants as well, but that is our absolute favourite. We uh, we love the fact as well, it's got the large fish tank right at the front whilst we wait. Our son loves pointing out Nemo and Dory a million times over. And we also just like the uh, strange kind of rainforest ambience, the, uh, the noises, the animals that come to life. That's one of our favourite uh, things about the restaurant. We really do uh, enjoy that. Um, our other favourite restaurant, two here, both at the Poly. Quick service, Captain Cook's. Now, Captain Cook's um, is actually my son's favourite, which is why I'm making a mention of it now. He absolutely loves hot dogs. And we stayed... We stayed at uh, the Polynesian first time we went with him. Second time we stayed at uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge. And he was not happy with that because it meant he wouldn't have as many hot dogs. So on most nights when we finished the parks, rather than go straight back to our hotel, we would go to the Poly first because he just absolutely loves Captain Cook's. He couldn't have a hot dog from anywhere else. It had to be a Captain Cook's hot dog. No difference, obviously, but to him there was. So, um, Captain Cook's gets an honourable mention. Our other favourite one, Ohana. Now, I know obviously during Corona times it's probably a bit different. You 
probably don't get the characters come round. But my goodness me, Ohana, if you get a window seat uh, table and you can see the park, great in the evenings if you can see the fireworks. We see it during the morning, we normally go for breakfast there. We absolutely love the uh, juice. I can't remember the uh, name of the special juice now, but we love the juice. We love the fact that they just keep bringing you food as well. You eat all the sausages out the tray, don't worry, two minutes later, more sausages. That to me, sir, is a challenge. A challenge I'm happy to get on board with as well. So, there you go. Just a few of my favorites there. Again, probably well down your list. Probably haven't even registered on your list. But that's what we like. In all honesty, I'll eat pretty much most places over there. Fries, burger, chicken. What's not to like for two weeks holiday? Um, I think just perhaps one more special mention. Now, this place doesn't actually exist on the Disney maps anymore. It is still there. It's just called something different and I can't remember the name of it now. But when I was a kid, we used to go to a place called Mrs. Potts, which served ice cream. Now, it's the uh, quick service counter uh, by the Winnie the Pooh ride. Uh, used to be opposite 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Don't know what ride is there now. Uh, I think it's the Snow White Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. I'm old school, I remember it, how it used to be. Uh, Mrs. Potts. That was probably the best ice cream I can ever remember having at Disney. Now, I haven't done Beaches and Cream. I've seen you guys rave about that. I've seen the special sink bowl. And yes, I am on board for trying that, definitely. Um, if you would permit me to join you guys come race weekend, that'd be fantastic. And I can show you my uh, special strengths in finishing desserts. But uh, a special shout out to Mrs. Potts. I still remember when I first went to Disney uh, 20 years ago, probably even more than that actually, 25 years ago. That was the best ice cream ever. So there you go, that's my mumblings. You probably disagree with most, I'm very sorry. Should you ever have another Slacker Symposium though? and you're looking for an international viewpoint on things, hook me up. I'm very well, I'm quite happy to share all of my ideas with you. Um, they're probably all wrong. Um, but yes, uh, I would very much like to uh, take part, should you ever wish for an international viewpoint. So, one of the conditions of completing this video set by the King was we had to give a tip for, I don't know, running I suppose, or covering the distance, I'm not sure. We had to give a tip towards what we would do as runners. Um, all I would say is go out and have fun. Because if you don't have fun, you'll soon start hating it come the days where it rains, where it gets snowy, where it's horrible. I know you guys in the storybook capital of America have experienced the white stuff recently, which you don't normally come across. I can tell you in England, we had two weeks of that. And no, I didn't like running in the snow, I'll be honest. But if I didn't have fun when I run, I wouldn't have gone out at all. But I'd go out, stick a little bit of music in, sometimes a podcast. Again, shout out to HJ. Thank you very much for your podcasts. I do listen to them. Um, so yeah, my tip would be, if you're going to do this, make sure you have fun. And also, make sure you follow the Slackers fueling regime. Because there is no better fuel than those donuts. I'm loving this fuel. I don't know why in races they give out water bottles. 
this has got to be the future. They have done it. A gruelling, gruelling 1.93 miles of the classy sachet. It has been fantastic to be able to take part in a race of sorts. Um, it's just been fantastic taking part in something that uh, you guys, the slackers, have uh, put on. Thank you, King, J. Crow, everybody else involved, Linz Reed, Jezri D, M to the Kelsey. Uh, oh my goodness, I'm forgetting so many more. But after that gruelling 1.93 miles, I'm sure you can understand why I've forgotten some names. Keep up the good work, guys. And now in true slacker style, time to refuel. Like, subscribe. You know who you got to tell about this.